Flavor City family, what is up? It is Rose, Desi, me and Art in the grocery store for the long awaited baby food video. Even Rose is excited for it, right? We've been getting a lot of requests to review baby food, even formula. And now that Rose is eight months, we've been feeding her a lot of yummy food. And now that we're looking in the grocery store at the prepared foods and snacks and teethers, it's kind of scary what's out there. And Desi has been really cracking the research books, looking up the good, the bad, and what to avoid for babies' bodies. Because at this age, they can't eat a lot of the stuff that you think they I might be able to. So before we get rocking on this six to 12 month baby haul, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share. But the most important thing is what, baby? Subscribe. And share and? And like. And the bell icon. Oh, the bell icon. The bell, it's always the bell. There's a bell right below. I haven't been in the videos in a while. <laughs> oh, we have so much uh, content going live every week. You want to enable all notifications. That way you get a push as soon as we go live. All right, so let's start back here. We think of the earliest kind of baby foods, baby. And what do we think of? Yeah, so uh, typically what you start off uh, when you start introducing solids is you think of cereals, grains, and rice, right? Yeah. But what do we say to that is we say, no, that that is not the best food to start off your baby on. Because, um, first of all, grains are very hard to digest. Babies don't have the capacity and the enzymes to digest grains, uh, typically until they are two or three years old. Yeah. Uh, number two, uh, those types of grains are actually um, considered a anti-nutrient and what that means is they prevent the absorptions of minerals in the body. Yeah. So there's two reasons you uh, have for not introducing that as a food to your baby. Yeah. But I mean, looking also at the ingredients art, we see what's here. Number one, almost all your baby food is going to have to be organic because you can see whole grain oats are the first... Uh, Ingredient, oat flour. And here's the deal, we talked about this many times. <laughs> Des is, Rose is hitting uh, arts. Yeah. If you're gonna get oats, if they're not organic, they score high in glyphosate because we talked about this in the glyphosate hall. Um, oat and wheat is sprayed with uh, Roundup. And they don't do that because it helps the crop or prevent it from uh, any kind of herbs. They do it as a desiccant to kill the plant to make it quicker to harvest. So you really wanna avoid that. So between that and between what Desi said, uh, the grains and having the uh, leaky gut, you wanna stay away from that. Yeah. Now, we don't want this video to be all about don't eat that, avoid that, uh, don't eat that. So we want to give you alternatives. So what are we going to do for that? Yeah. So um, if you're not going to start your baby off on grains, then what should you start them off? And we're going to have a full video on the 10 superfoods you want to feed yeah. your baby starting at six months. Coming up. We're filming it actually next. Yeah. So let's just go to another very popular snack here. Check this out, Art. These are basically puffs or snacks or fall into the teething Finger cracker. Yeah. And teething crackers. So here's the deal. Just look at the ingredients for this. This is a organic kale and spinach puff. I'm gonna talk about the ingredients and Destiny's gonna talk about uh, how the body will handle it. So we see organic brown rice there. Organic is good, but brown rice is troublesome. Organic white rice flour there, apple juice concentrate, and then a ton of vitamins and minerals that are synthetic. So here's the deal. Organic is nice, but actually brown rice scores higher in arsenic than white rice because uh, arsenic's a heavy metal, comes from the ground, and rice actually scores high in it. Us adult bodies can probably handle that, but babies, you've got to be very careful. But then the brown rice is followed with white rice. White rice is what we call dead nutrition. There's no uh, properties in there because you strip away the bran and the hull, all the good stuff, right? And then I'm okay with organic apple juice concentrate, but just keep in mind when you have a concentrate, you do bump up the natural sugars and you have to kind of monitor that in a baby's body. So this is still not something great and it's full of the, uh, the grains, right? Yeah, the grains. Yeah, so uh, if you want to introduce grains at some point, I would do it after a year and a half and you want to introduce at that point gluten-free grains and they have to be properly soaked and prepared. For uh, grains containing gluten, I would do two years or three years. Once. Yeah, yeah. So when you see, Desi, something like these pouches here, which a lot of them are organic, and you'll see some that have oats blended into them. Let's, let's grab one here. Uh, here, so this is organic banana, raspberry, and oats. And this is marketed for something over six months old. And the ingredients, I mean, they are clean, right? So clean, I can hardly see them. <laughs> so clean, Art can not even see them. Can we see them or not? Hardly, maybe you can read them off. Yeah, let's see, so, oh wow. <laughs> Even I can't read that. But so when something's mixed with bananas and strawberries and oats, that's something you probably wouldn't want to eat until what age? 
Right. First of all, it's a combination of things. They shouldn't be introduced as first food. You want to introduce foods one at a time, right. especially in the beginning at six months. Uh, second of all, it has the grain, right? It has the oats. Very difficult to digest. We already talked about this. Uh, and then uh, careful about berries. Uh, again, cooked berries, you want to start introducing 10 months plus. So again, um, says six months, but use your... Uh, Use the information we give you in this video yeah. to kind of like sift through these things. Well, also, we're going to put in the description box a list of all the, what we think are the approved fruits and veggies for 6 to 12 months. So you can that way sort through the food in the grocery store and pick them out because a lot of them will have two or three good ingredients and then one that we don't recommend. But we'll put a full list down below. Right, correct. All right, but let's focus on something more positive. Art and I actually saw this the other day doing another video here. This is a brand called Serenity Kids, not Serenity Now, like Seinfeld, Serenity Kids. All right, look at the selection they have here, especially this. This is actually the kind of stuff you want to feed kids, maybe not under eight months, but it's 100% grass-fed and finished beef made with organic kale and sweet potatoes. There's no filler, all thriller, and it's really, really high-quality stuff. There's the ingredients right there. Now, once again, reference the list we put in the description box because you might not want to give your six-month-old kale. I believe that's something you don't want, but look at the rest of the ingredients here. Right, look at this. This is bison with kabocha squash and spinach. This is 100% wild-caught salmon with butternut squash and beet. Everything's organic. And if you want to focus on veggies, look at this. I got no roots. Yes, I do. Look at these ingredients with olive oil. And where's it from? It's from Austin, Texas. You guys, Art and I keep seeing all these amazing companies pop up in Austin, like Epic, like these guys, like Thunderbird. There is a food revolution happening in Austin, and it's for the better. Like, really, really cool stuff. Yeah, and I want to say all these that Bobby just pointed out, they're great for 10 months plus. There we go. Uh, because the ingredients um, are perfect for that. All these ingredients you can actually give one at a time, starting at six months, like meat and sweet potatoes and things like that. But start one at a time. Yeah. You don't want to... Uh, give a baby that's starting out like a combination of things because first you want to watch out for allergies, right? right. And second, you don't want to tax their digestive system. They're not ready to handle a starch with a combination of uh, animal protein and stuff. Right. Like that. So when you see something like this, Desi, look, this is like really good baby six to 12 month old ingredients like pears and mangoes. But when it's combined with spinach, there's a problem you there, want right? To wait until like 10 months for spinach. Exactly. So you'll oftentimes see superfoods like kale yeah. and spinach blended in with stuff that could be for a six or eight month old, but because they add that leafy green, you have to wait till about 10, year, 10 months old, right? There are a bunch of other good stuff here, and obviously you have to go organic. There we go. Because stuff like berries and pears and kale, those are dirty dozen members. So um, they don't have the traditional stuff here like Gerber, and I was going to go to Walmart, but I didn't have time. So apply these same principles to any kind of baby food you get anywhere. Desi, talk about this stuff where it's just one ingredient. So show this. This is Yeah, just one ingredient is good. Fruits. However, like prunes, I wouldn't give that, uh, I wouldn't give that to a six month old. It's just gonna pass right through their system. Too much and fructose it actually too. says four months up. Very careful. Okay, let's talk about, yeah. let's talk about why we want to start at six months introducing salads and not earlier. So there's something called leaky gut that oh, babies yes. naturally have up until six months old. And why is that? Um, that's because they're supposed to uh, ingest the mom's milk and nutrients are supposed to pass through that leaky gut and go into the bloodstream to protect the baby. So uh, nature intended this to work this way in order to protect the baby. Right. So if you introduce any solids before six months, before the gut actually gets sealed, then you're running the the risk of actually creating allergies in the body of the baby. Right. Why? Because undigested protein, undigested particles of point. food will go into the bloodstream. The body will, won't know what to do with them, will attack yep. them, will attack that ingredient. And next time that ingredient is uh, ingested, uh, the body again will attack it. And that might create that allergic reaction that very we all know point. about. Uh, babies are very prone to allergic reactions these days. And because they're probably getting uh, introduced to too, mu too many foods at one time too early. Yeah, great point, great point. So the just one ingredients are good. Just one ingredients are great. When you're talking about like prunes or just mango, it still has high fructose, so you gotta be yeah. careful, right? Uh, unless you want to, like, if they're backed up, 
and you sure. need them to go uh, poo, then just give them a little bit of Yeah, or you buy that organic, uh, essentially right here. A couple times Rose has been backed up and we've come to the grocery store Yeah. and we've gotten this right here. For organic right prune here. juice. This. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is great for constipation for babies, but again, don't overdo it. Uh, give it in uh, extreme situations. Right. Because uh, it's a lot of sugar. Yeah. Or we might talk about in the next video, a little shot of uh, fermented uh, sauerkraut juice. Yeah, so in the next video for superfoods, that's where we're going to talk baby. about yeah. uh, what are the best gut foods for babies, right. uh, what, are the, what is the best nutrition, and overall how to like prime their digestive system to be healthy and strong. Yeah, totally. Um, let's go back to the popular kind of teething crackers and stuff here. So look, this is super smart. Try to punch in here, Art. Super smart multi-grain alphabet snacks. And it looks good here, right? Cinnamon, sweet potato, and flax. And I'd say that is actually a great combination. Maybe not for under 10 months old. But look at the ingredients. I don't think it's good for babies or humans to have organic palm oil, a highly processed oil that's not expelled or pressed, and brown sugar, right? So you got to be careful. Then we come down here. These are very popular. These are teething crackers, right? So these are mango and pumpkin teething crackers. Let's see what they're made of. I guarantee they're made of rice and stuff like that so first ingredient jasmine flour it is organic that's going to be high in arsenic so you got to be careful on the intake on that tapioca starch is a simple starch that pretty much is sugar so be careful with that more and, rice flour. and more rice flour so guys just because it's fruit juice that's not the only sugar in here when you see simple starches like rice yeah. rice is the same thing as sugar it will spike the baby's blood Absolutely. sugar so i mean and, and, it, and it's it, the baby cannot digest it so yeah and why are they using it because rice is really cheap and it's gluten-free grain so i mean tough stuff like what would be a good alternative to a teether for a baby that was healthy teether uh well uh we can talk about this in the next video oh look at desi teasing the next video there i like that a lot if you start somewhere like carrots, what do you think about yeah, that? Yeah, just simple carrots. That's great. Make sure they're organic, which this one is. What about next to it, the green uh, beans? Green beans. Okay, so green bean uh, is a legume uh, along with peas. Uh, so uh, legumes you want to introduce at two years plus. You got to be careful with legumes. They're All hard right, to digest. At, look at uh, Rose. She's very interested in what you're doing. <laughs> hard to digest. It's same with this one. Uh, <laughs> All right, um, so carrots and peas, that might sound like a good combination, but again, legumes, difficult to digest. So what age for that? Uh, for, for peas, yeah. uh, two, month, two years plus. Two years plus. So there's something like this, what about that, a veggie dinner? Veggie dinner. You got to be careful, gotta be, you got to read the ingredients. So uh, looks like this one has barley flour, which is a grain. We want to avoid that. Until what age, though? Uh, two years. And then come up here. So we start going to combinations that have um, oats and seeds and fruits. When do you want to start introducing seeds? Again, seeds at two years plus. Okay. And oats, same thing? Uh, oats, same thing. Yeah. Okay. What about this stuff down here? This is like really high end here. Look at this. Sarah Belly. So it actually tells you this one is for this eight is to nine months. Smart and this one is milk. from five to seven months. Organic sweet potato, organic mango, water, uh, tapioca fiber. And then it's nutrients See? derived from. This looks good actually. They're taking nutrients from stuff that you probably don't want to eat and combining it with stuff you can eat. Yeah, I don't know how that's derived and if that's, and that's okay. Yeah, of course it's right below the uh, Elmo teething crackers and stuff you don't want to eat. So guys, listen, I know it's confusing, but this is just like a subsection at a random grocery store. It happens to be a little more high end because it's Whole Foods. But we're going to put the full list of the baby approved foods from 6 to 12 in the description box. Once you can see those, then you know what to buy, what to avoid. Because if it has something like oats, it's not appropriate for an eight month old like Rose, yeah. right? So all that info is down below. We're going to stop with this video and then do a little milk break and then do the superfood baby uh, video. Uh, but if you want to see more videos like this for kids, what they should eat after 12 months, um, if you want to have recipes, first of all, go to Flav City Instagram. Yeah. I have a safe story called uh, Baby Food. We feed uh, eggs some 
uh, pasture-raised chicken livers, some pasture-raised egg yolks, some really amazing stuff that we're going to share in the future if you guys want to see it. But um, that's it, you guys. You let us know what you want to see, and we'll do it. Like, subscribe, share, all those great things. Rose is way overdue for a nap. I have no idea how she got through yeah. this uh, video. She is a super trooper. Uh, but uh, Desi and I have two more videos going below us right now. Art, Rose, Desi, and myself, we'll see you soon. Until then, we say into you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Peace, peace y'all.